Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. Okay, so how are you all doing? I am doing great, and yeah, let's continue with this game. So what we were doing is we were going ahead and we were going to place our usual turret kind of stuff. Uh, I was going to put in about 50 bullets. Uh, let's see, how can we do this the easy way? Probably do that, and then drop them in. There we go. I wish we could kind of do like a number, a set number, but you have to have the kind of like the correct multiples in here. You can right click to do half the stack, and I think you can, uh, no, control click does everything. I didn't want that. Uh, let's see, we'll do this again. Yeah, so I kind of right click and then left click to place them in there. Okay, so I need more turrets, more turrets. I usually like to space these five apart. So like one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. So that way you can still mine them. And let's put 50 in each of these. Let's actually do that. And this one will have 50 as well. And I don't know how well this is gonna turn out, but hopefully this will protect this area a little bit if we got biters coming in. And then we're gonna run back up here. We're gonna grab some more wall pieces. And why is this not balancing? This thing's not balancing itself. It's probably because the, the the inserters pick up off the one side of the belt instead of both sides. So that's kind of where it gets challenging. Oh, it looks like it's backing up here. Okay, and we do need to make those doors, but we realize that we need green signs to make the doors. Remember, here we have our output and it's not enough. So we need to make more miners. So to do that, let's see how many walls are made here. 43 walls only. Oh my goodness. Okay, so how are we going to do more miners? Because we don't have enough metal being consumed here. Or we have too much metal being consumed. So let's put some more stone into here. Because we have a lot of stone for some reason. Not sure where we got the stone from. I, I can't remember anymore. Might be episode or two ago, who knows. Let's put some wood in here. That's why there's these two slots here, so we can put in the wood for fuel. Which seems to work. I like the priority that it does on that. Um, do we have any iron plates? No, let's pick up some. Okay, perfect. Let's pick up some ammo. Lots of ammo was, was created, which is nice. Well, or is it nice? Oh, no, only 60 ammo was made. Dang it. Okay, so now with this part down here, we need to make a couple more miners. We have one there already, one more. Okay, so, and we will put, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four spaces, and then on the fifth one, I think, we'll find out here in a moment. Yeah, it looks like it. That one, and as soon as this is done, We'll place this one down. We have some of these assembly machines that we need to replace the other machines with. We need to put another thing like that. We need to probably put a light right here. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to anticipate attacks from these guys up here in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to place a turret probably right here in the corner. I'm going to give it, going to give it 50 bullets as well. Uh, let's see, I'm just kind of right clicking down to 50, and then we're just going to left click in there. Boom, shakalaka. So we just need the one there. I might put one on the other side over here because, well, because it's going to be necessary. Because there's these guys up here, and if you look at our pollution, oh, actually this shouldn't be too bad. I guess in case of anything spawns, then we'll have to look at it. Yeah, I wish we could kind of review the settings of the map. I'm not sure if there is a spot for that. Options, other... Yeah, I don't think it really sh shows you. For those of you that are wondering about kind of uh, what you know, like what language you can play the game in, well, there are other languages. So there is things like Russian and stuff like that. So you can definitely... It tells you, I think, the percentage of what's converted as well. So, which is kind of cool. So yeah, so definitely they have that. That is kind of neat. Um, auto save interval, two minutes. I think it's a little bit too much. Five minutes would be better. 
Um, let's resume. Okay, let's save the game. We always need to save the game every so often because it doesn't really do so. It does in the auto save, but it's always better to save a fresh copy if you know you're going to go and attack some biters. So we've got the wall all the way around, so we got that accomplished. These look like they are working on the bullet damage. Yeah, so there's nothing we can do about that. They will continue to function. And so I guess it's just a matter of dealing with the iron situation here. Now it looks like, well, because the gears have backed up, this isn't being really produced too much. So this will just carry on. And down here, I guess there'll be more iron in general going this way. So which means the bullets will be able to be crafted and we'll be able to take our bits of iron out of that as well. So that's good. Now down here with the two with the two extra miners, looks like we have a full bar here. And maybe we can actually add the two more again. Because if you notice, it looks like now it's keeping up. So let's give that a shot again. I kind of dismantled this a little bit in error. So you have to forgive me for that and let's kind of rebuild this and see what happens to it uh, we go the outside 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 oh we need more we need more <laughs> we need more inserters i can't wait to make those by by machine because we need that for the green so i guess what we'll do next is we'll redo this stuff here with the with the stone we'll mine this correctly with all the the miners that we need and then we'll bring it up here and this is where we'll kind of do the processing maybe we'll have two of these machines going i don't know maybe we don't need to but let's see here let's see if we can place we need this for that this and that okay so let's make three more of those uh why not we all need more resources yeah it's always a game of resources <laughs> always a game of resources and copper too wow that's cool that's so cool okay so, down here, we have this stuff going on. I think that's all we need. And then we can just place wires in place. One there, one there, and one, I think, here. Or here. I think right here, right beside. And we can place a couple lights. One here. Maybe one here. And one there. That way it's nicely all lit up. And I think this will do quite well. It only looked full because I think they were just unloading. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think that's what it was. So because I put the 50 in there, it was smelting them faster. So yeah. So this is exciting, folks. So this hopefully will keep up. We'll see how it goes with the extra the two miners there. And then over here, we still have the copper doing good. Lots of copper. Uh, lots of iron still, so we don't have to worry about relocating that. I have a funny feeling that these deposits are larger just because of the marathon mode, but I could be wrong about that. How are these doing? Okay, we're almost at half. So we might have to finish off with three more of these bad boys, which means that that's one, two. Need some more iron here. And yeah, we'll put them all in place. And three. Perfect, so now all the iron that we receive is going to be utilized in a different manner. <laughs> oh boy. Let's pick this up again. 64 more magazines, okay. But with the faster crafter, they should be made a little bit quicker. We have this assembling machine here. We can exchange that one. Okay, um, we still need more iron, more iron. So let's kind of snag it from the line here because we need it. Okay, uh, let's pick that up. Okay, uh, what did we need? I, was, I needed to craft all these. One, two, three. Oh, they use up so much. But that's okay. I can't wait to, to automate most of this stuff. So we're going to turn these all into blue ones. And then we'll have... At least we'll have these quicker assembly machines. So I think this should produce a lot quicker. We might... See, I want to put two here, but it's it doesn't work. So so we'll just have the one. I might make another one of these guys taking from down here, maybe. Maybe over here. Ah, no, that's fine. We'll just make these, and then once we get the piercing rounds, then that's what we'll make, because that's the better version. Okay, so what's happening here? Got all this stuff. Ooh, we got more walls. Beautiful, beautiful. So what do I need the walls for? We'll go... Well, we need to put more walls around here, but we also need to make 
some more of these turrets here. So we need more iron. <laughs> more iron, 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 iron. What else is new? What else is new? So we'll grab all that iron. Okay, we got lots of coal still. That is pretty funny. So what we'll do is maybe we will do this. So that way some coal can disappear. And then we can kind of stuff the stuff in here, like more coal or wood or whatever. And these bad boys will get some more stacks of stone here. So we can always pick up the stone, so that's not a big deal. I wish there was a way of getting rid of stuff without actually destroying it. So kind of like a recycler thing. Now there's usually mods that do that. There's a recycling mod I like to use, but I don't know, it's just... I, don't know, I would rather have a method that is built into the game to do that. Uh, let's see, how is this happening? I have to build two more miners. Just not backing up enough. So we might have to do two more of those. How's my copper? We're doing all right. Let's pick up some more resources. Pick up the walls. Pick up some more firearms. Uh, let's see, how are we doing for this? Build a couple of these bad boys. Okay, and let's place down this miner here. Let's place two more. <laughs> oh boy. Man, so many resources, so many things to do. It's just like a rabbit in a in a, a carrot shop. <laughs> Where do I go? Which one? Which one? This one? That one? So, and then I gotta ramble. You know, you gotta hear me ramble through the whole thing. I gotta try and make sense. I have a fan on in the background, so hopefully the noise reduction takes that out. I, I think it will, but if not, I apologize for that. <laughs> but it's hot here today, and yeah, I need to definitely cool down and the fan will do that so let's see here let's place this like that perfect man how much pollution is this producing so much pollution but we need it we need it the energy being consumed is probably quite a bit let's take a peek at that so okay now it looks like we're doing okay with production looks like we're meeting the need the desire but we're slowly increasing in demand. What's this yellow? These guys? Well, because they're crafting. They cost more energy because they craft faster. Down here, I think everything is working out as expected. It's not reaching down to the end because it just wasn't enough. So now with the two extra guys... Oh, shoot. Oh, this belt. Uh, I need to actually be in rage. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> That's too funny. So hopefully that will fill up all the way down to the end. Looks like it almost is. And as long as it keeps up, that's all that matters. Okay. Oh, it looks like this is all nicely filled up here. So let's grab some iron plates again. Let's grab them like this as well. Grab this whole row. Beautiful. Okay. So let's build a few more of these. We should automate these, these gun turrets. We totally can do that because it takes all three of these components and we also need to make the green the green research so let's see what we need to do the green we need inserters and transport belts so transport belts we have then we need an inserter inserter where are you we need electronic circuit iron gear and iron plate so this is where we start getting into the electronic circuit to make these we need iron plates and copper cable so Oh, come on. Oh, over here. We have a biter. Biter. Oh, man. We need to fix this. Okay. So that's all right. We're going to have to put some some uh, guns along this side, uh, of course. I think that's the, the issue. Now, the wall that we have, is that on the inside or the outside? I think uh, the outside. So we need to make sure that we... Build a second row, like so. So I always do double row, I guess just because it gives the biters two rows to bite through. It's probably redundant and probably unnecessary, but it's kind of like the main walls that I have of my base will have the double walls, and then everything else will have a single wall. So it just it, it just slows down the biters. It just slows them down enough to kill them, right? So. Let's see here, we want to position this in such a way so that we, we maximize 
Oh yeah, let's do a few here. Two, three, four, five. I wish there was like a counter thing where you could kind of click and hold and or do something or press the shift to count it for you. And then you can kind of, you click and then it'll reset it and then you can keep going up. It'd be nice. You can kind of eyeball it, but uh, let's see if that is, pro oh, I did the ghost image. I'm used to doing that with the robots. Let's see, is that five? Uh, then I need to just count it. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess we could eyeball it. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Well, we can do all of these bad boys with the the red. So there's shooting speed, shotgun shell damage, uh, fluid handling. There's all kinds of fluid. Fill water bell, or empty, crude, this. There's the sulfuric acid barrels. I wonder if that's new. I don't remember doing being able to do that, but maybe we could have. Maybe they just changed the, the icons. So we are going to probably get this one because we need it. Ooh, fluid wagon. Oh, yeah, let's do this. I take 400 research, so that is fine and dandy. So how, what's the best way of doing this? Let's do this. Right-click, take the 50. Right-click, do that. And then we move these into here. Do you want always 200? There you go. So that should hopefully take care of them. In the map now, you can actually turn on the turret coverage so you can see uh, what the turrets are going to cover, which is pretty damn cool. You, if I say so myself, so that way you can see what parts of the wall you don't have any any coverage on and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We we need to redo all this. So how are we gonna do that? Hmm. Let me think about that one. We need to do our research. So we need to get rid of these trees. These trees are gonna be in the way probably because we're gonna expand up into here. I might somehow deal with the green over here. We have the belts here, we just need the inserters. So what do we need for the inserters? Let's put them like let's put this here. Let's take a look. Inserter. So we need circuits. That's right. And then we were looking at the circuits and we need iron plate and copper cable. I need the copper cable. Um so how do we want to do this? I wanna stem off the copper this way. And then we want to do maybe a couple like this. We need to build more of these bad boys. We need more iron. So this is definitely where the marathon mode, I think, is coming to play. So I don't remember these things being as costly as they are. And a lot of things are being crafted. And so it's taken a long time to craft them in the queue. So we need to get these up and running on the production line, I think, as soon as possible. I think... I think the marathon mode requires you almost to to move more more product around, more more items, which is which is good, which is good. I'm usually not I'm not used to that, but I guess people playing the modded stuff will be used to that. So kind of those of you that played like kind of Bob's mods and all of that stuff, that would be in that vein of of stuff, right? So let's see here. Let's put this in. All the lights are in play now. So these are all the steam engines in play. Let's see what the pollution's doing. Okay, it's still doing all right. I think the trees are helping. We have more copper over here to tap into. That's next. So let's see. How is the performance? It's like the steam is at 165. Yeah, no, everything can function as as expected. And I think down here what will what we'll turn on will be only the ones that we need. So we have up to five here because each one can handle two, right? And we know that the steam doesn't cool down in the pipes yet. So hopefully they don't kind of you know, utilize that idea. <laughs> so you didn't hear this developers if you're watching this. <laughs> Not like any developers would, but I'm just saying, uh, don't change that. <laughs> It'd be okay if they did though. I would agree. I'd be okay with that. Um, it just would be something to get used to. So let's see. So we want to make the wires, copper cables here. Now to copy these, you can, I think you press hold shift, you right click, and then you left click where you want the new copy to go. So that's pretty cool. That helps speed up the process. So we're going to bring in the plates this way. Okay. And then we're going to need to make some more of these. Okay, we need more of these bad boys, 5, 10, 50, 20. You know we'll need a lot of them. And then we need more um, belts. So let's see here. 
So I think it's just a matter of splitting this thing. Like that. I'm going to do a time check here because it's it seems like it's been a very, very long time. It's been about 20 minutes. Okay, cool, cool. So how else do we... So now we need power for all of this stuff. How are we going to power this up? Oh man, I wish we had the bigger power lines. So maybe we'll do like this. Like this. To just make sure we power both of those. That's fine. I don't care if it's straight or crooked or anything like that. We'll put that light there for now. Okay. Need to put a light up here. It's pretty dark up here. Let's put one right here. Okay. Now what, folks? Let's kind of just think about this here. Okay, so we're going to be producing these bad boys, and then we need to... Um, I might need the fast ones. We should have a bunch of fast ones already. So if we do that and that, that, um, that and that, so we'll definitely need to do that. Okay, and then we'll do some belts. How will we do the belt? I could do something like this, where the belt will go this way, and then... You know, if we wanted to upgrade it, we could do that. And we do this. Okay, so we got the wires coming this way. And then what do we do with the wires? Then we can make the circuits, proper cables. So is there anything else that's going to need wires? Wires. Just kind of doing a quick check of seeing what else need wires. And I don't see anything that would need the copper wires. If, I think that's what it's called. Copper wire? Or copper cable. Sorry. Copper cable. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, so then I guess right off this we can produce the circuits. Which is two items, which means we need more crafters. Which means we need more iron. Iron, iron, iron. Never going to stop. And we need more copper. So we're utilizing that as well. So maybe we can pick up bunch of these bad boys yeah it looks like this will be able to keep up so the fast ones is a good choice and this one can be the slow ones I think I'm not sure what they're waiting on they're waiting on maybe I'll just change these all to fast there we go okay okay and then we got so a couple more of these bad boys so yeah it's definitely helping might I might want to make a box taken off these things for now. So let's do that. Let's make five more boxes. It looks like I can make steel. Oh, we can make steel. So that means we can turn the plates into steel. Interesting. Oh, do you think we're going to do that? I can. Oh, I need 50 steel plate for that. So... We can probably position something, maybe we'll position one thing. So let's create one smelter here. We're going to come close to the new smelters. So you know, this is almost irrelevant. So let, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's do that for fuel. Let's put a wire here. Okay. This should be turning into should turn into what I think it's going to turn into. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So this stuff, we don't want it to stop. So we'll just... Ah, oh, dang it. So it's a better way of positioning this. Probably like this. Like this. And we'll leave it open. And it's just going to take... Oh, it's going to take so long, too. That sucks. Dang it. Well, we'll let that do its thing, and we might have to produce an array for this stuff, kind of similar to this, but where it comes off this, and we produce plates. We might bring it off this way, bring it around this way, up this way, produce the steel plates here, maybe. Oh, what a mess. It's all going squirrely. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we need to make more of these, though. We need more iron. More iron. Iron, 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 and more iron. It's one thing you're going to need in this game is a ton of iron. And then 
Yeah, yeah. So these will, will slowly produce, so we'll just let that do its thing. What else can we do here? Let's move all of this coal out of our inventory into here. That's another thing we need to do. And then we can fix the, the minimum here. Let's see, perfect. Okay, we don't need any coal on us, so we can do this. And four, five. There we go. I want five spaces left for that. Okay, perfect. So that's working as I expect. Let me got this stuff here. Let's put some more stone into here. So that way we can... Perfect. You get rid of our stone on us. Okay, uh, how much do we have in here now? Three. Oh, how about here? A bunch of walls. We got a lot of walls. It's good. Bunch of iron. Okay, so the next step is to do the green. So we need iron plates now. So I wonder if we can just basically do this. Right? Do that. Kind of like the bus idea. I think that will work out quite well here. Let's see. What else can we do? What else can we do, folks? Um, we need to make inserters, right? This is circuits, gears, and plates. So the circuits we'll make over here. How are we going to make the circuits? Let's see here. If we go one, two, do the same kind of pattern that we've done, right? And we'll, of course, turn these into that. Shift, right click, left, left, left. And then, let's see, circuits. So I don't think they need the fast inserters. It's probably pointless. And then we'll need the same kind of concept like this. Right? And we will do the same idea. I don't mind it doing what it's doing. Because it's easy to expand outwards like this but there has to be a better way of ah we need more more of these Let's see nice they stack to 100 beautiful let's do that i'm just middle clicking on these and what it does is it reserves the slot we're gonna have to increase our tool belt but that's once we got the green science going let me do this bring this up this way um i can have it right beside we go this way. Perfect. Okay. So now we need to bring these up a little bit more. Now we might not need all these materials on each of these lines, but I know that we do utilize these things quite a bit. So I'm just kind of carrying on with my my bus, and if we run out of space, we can always bring this up higher. Right? So, okay. So let's get this bad boy kind of flowing with stuff. So we need copper cable and plates so and we need more copper cable than plates but i think we can run it along one line so we're going to oops we're going to do this we're going to bring it across what are we doing for time i'm going to finish this and then we'll finish the episode here so so i i need to bring is it iron iron okay so we'll we'll have to split that I'll have to take this apart. So we'll split it right here. Okay, and then we need to bring it over this and then down like that. Okay, so we got the, uh, the iron plates in place. Let's fix this all up. That, like that. Shabam! Shabam! Okay, and this goes like that. And let's divide it right here. Um, yeah, that should be all right. Go bing, bing, just like that. Let's grab some more of these bad boys. Looks like we need more, which is good. We'll let it build more. Okay, and now let's power this stuff. And yeah, and then we'll be good to rock and roll. Rock and roll. Let's put power line right there 
and we can do one like right here and then one here and here that's perfect and i can do a light let's do a light there okay and let's see how this function oh and we're we're missing a belt right here Okay, looks like we need to turn these ones into the fast ones, like so. Okay, and then I need to make more, more of these. So we need to make 5, 10, 15, and then we need to 5, 10, 15, and more copper. See, we're slowly going to start using more copper, but we're still going to be able to keep up with these. It's more of the iron that we need to watch. It's all backing up, which is nicely. The coal we got plenty of, which is awesome. And we need to redo this still, but we're doing all right. We're, we're not sustaining any attacks, so we don't have to really worry. Uh, I should build more turrets. We need more iron again. <laughs> so there you go, folks. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. We got a lot done. Kind of started the basis of, of the steel processing, but we still need quite a bit for the armor. We need at least 50 plates, so we'll get that done so we can upgrade our armor. And, oh, we hey, we can actually make some upgraded steel picks here, so maybe we'll do that as well. So, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.